بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سٹوڈنٹس اس از سبجیکٹ پاک اسٹڈیز گریٹ ٹین چیپٹر نمبر ون ہسٹری آف پاکستان لیکچر نمبر فائیو اینڈ دا ٹاپک از بین ازیر فرسٹ ٹرم ان آفس پیج نمبر ٹوینٹی سو لیٹس ڈسکس دا ٹاپک ڈسکرپشن سو فرسٹ آف آل دا کنسیپٹ آف چیپٹر ول بی ایکسپلینڈ جرنل الیکشنز آف نائنٹین let's discuss this election when uh, General Ziaul Haq was killed in a plane crash near Bahawalpur in August 1988 fresh elections were held in Pakistan in which Benazir Bhutto got success and she formed government in center while RJI Islami Jamhuri Etihad formed government in Punjab Benazir Bhutto success in the elections so as she came from abroad after a long time and she was the daughter of Zulfikar Ali Bhutto who was hanged by General Ziaul Haq so that's why she got the sympathy of the people and won these elections and formed government head center path of peace and reconciliation reconciliation mean mafahimat so uh, as um, her first uh, declaration or statement she uh, she said that she would follow the path of peace and reconciliation relation with USA United States of uh, America and USSR so as these were the two major powers at that time USA United States of America was leading the capitalist bloc and USSR Union of Soviet Socialist Republic was leading the communist bloc so both of these major powers were very important for Pakistan and for the national interest so that's why Benazir Bhutto tried her best to form a uh, good relation with these two relation with India were normalized similarly India was uh, one of our neighbors so that's why good relation with India was a need of the day so uh, agreement signed with India for this purpose with normalizing uh, uh, relations with India different agreements were signed one of the agreement was that not to attack each other nuclear installations similarly for cultural delegations and tariff different agreements were signed people's work program was launched for the welfare of the people she launched people's work program at Peshawar in 1989 okay so confrontation with RJI RJI Islami Jamhuri Etihad was a group of political parties who fought elections against Benazir Bhutto and succeeded in forming government in Punjab and dissolution of the National Assembly in the result of the confrontation attitude between Benazir Bhutto and Nawaz Sharif IJI the president of Pakistan at that time Ghulam Issa Khan dissolved the National Assembly on charges of corruption misuse of power and undermining the democratic norms and Ghulam Mustafa Jatui was then appointed as the caretaker prime minister and general election were pledged to be held on October 24 1990 so let's so students now we comes to the detail of government uh, government of Benazir Bhutto Benazir Bhutto's first term in office that is 1988 to 90 so Pakistan People's Party emerged from 1988 election as the party with the largest number of the seats in the National Assembly according to the Constitution the president invited its parliamentary leader so after winning the elections of 1988 President Ghulam Issa Khan invited Benazir Bhutto to form her government at the center so jab bhi koi elections hote hain to sadar jo hota hai wo majority party ki leader jo hota hai jo parliament jo qaumi assembly mein leader hoti hai majority party ko usko invite karti hai aur wo phir apni hukumat tashkeel leti hai so benazir bhutto on december 1 1988 to form government uh, uh, thus begin a new era of democracy in the country is after a long time when general ziaul haq imposed martial law in the country so after a long time democratic government was succeeded to come towards democracy benazir took oath as the prime minister on december 12 to 1988 and on december 
10 days after the appointment got the vote of confidence from the parliament so after invited by uh, Ghulam Isaak Khan she formed her government and took oath after 10 days mean on 12 of uh, December 1988 and formed her government and took the vote of confidence from the parliament Especially when the hung parliament is not a clear majority, then the vote of confidence is taken from the parliament, se, parliament, se, national assembly and senate. Se. So it was for the first time in the modern history of the Islamic world that Muslim women became the head of the government. Just like she was a woman of the government, the first martaba in any Muslim world. So this was for them a gift that the first time the woman was a woman of the government of the Muslim world, they have taken a responsibility. In her first public statement, in her first public statement, what did they say in the statement? In the statement, they said that our policy will be, Benazir Bhutto said that our policy will be, our government will be, what will be? It will be that the government will be, and the government will be, a policy will be. Her message was that of unity, peace, freedom and hope. Un ka jo message jo paigam ta wo itihaad ke liye ta aman aur azadi aur umeed ke liye ta aur yehi wajhe ti ki unho ne sare jo stakeholders te unse achche talukat kaim ki chahe sin mein MQM se ho chahe behruni jo aapke saath mein neighbors hai India se unse achche talukat kaim ki aur jo do bade super powers te us time pe Union of Soviet Socialist Republic USSR or USA United States of America ke saath achche talukat kaim ki so efforts were made to establish better relation with the United States of America and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic in dono big powers jo ek time pe jo USA ta wo lead kar raha tha United States of America ye lead kar raha tha kis ko western world ko ya capitalist block ko aur jo USSR tha Union of Soviet socialist republic ye jo ta lead kar raha tha communism block ko so these were the two major ideologies at that time so Benazir Bhutto wanted to forge good relation with these two powers interests of the third world countries were supported especially jo gareeb umalik te unke mafadat ki himayat karne ka ek ayada kiya gya by the Benazir Bhutto rivalry between India and Pakistan was mitigated اچھا جو رائیولری تھی جو اختلاف تھا جو دشمنی چلی آ رہی تھی ہندوستان اور پاکستان کے طرف اس کو لیسن کر دیا گیا کم کر دیا گیا دوستی کا ہاتھ ان کی طرف بڑھا دیا گیا این ایک آرڈ وہ سان وید دا مہاجر قومی مومنٹ تو انہینس فریڈم آف این ایک آرڈ وہ سان وید دا مہاجر قومی مومنٹ تو انہینس فریڈم آف دا پریس اچھا اس مقصد کیلئے ریکنسیلیشن کے پالیسی پہ چلتے ہوئے انہوں نے کیا کیا متحدہ قومی مومنٹ جو ابھی ہے اور جو اس ٹائم کی مہاجر قومی مومنٹ ہے اس کے ساتھ ایک اگریمنٹ ہوا لائن آرڈر سیچویشن بہتر بنانے کیلئے سپیشلی سن میں اچھا اب آزادی پریس جو پرنٹ اور الیکٹرونک میڈیا کی آزادی کیلئے انہوں نے ایک اقدام اٹھایا کہ نیشنل پریس جو ٹرس تھا اس کو ختم کر دیا اور ایک اٹانومس باڈی بنا دیا پاکستان ٹیلی ویجن کو اور ریڈیو پاکستان کو اٹانومس خود مختار ایک باڈی بنا دیا سو پریٹیکل پریزنرز وار ریلیس جو جتنی بھی سیاسی جو قیدی تھے ان کو ریلیس کر دیا گیا بین آر ٹریڈ یونینز وار لیفٹیٹ اسی طریقے سے جو ٹریڈ یونینز تھی اس سے پابندی اٹھا دی گئی ایسے سے پہلے مارشل اللہ گزر چکی تھی اور جنرل زیال حق نے مارشل اللہ لگائی تھی فیبت اور جولائی نائنٹین سیونٹی سیون کو تو انہوں نے مختلف پابندیاں بھی لگائی تھی اور جو سیاسی قیدی تھے وہ بھی مطلب اوکی سو Thus turning Pakistan television and radio Pakistan into autonomous bodies, Khud Mukhtar, autonomous Khud Mukhtar. Critical prisoners were released when our trade unions was lifted. Pakistan and India had no accord over the issue of security to their nuclear installations. So on the occasion of the SAAG, South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation Conference held in Pakistan 
On December 31st, 1988, Benazir Bhutto and the visiting Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi signed an agreement on not to attack the nuclear installation of each other. Now, for uh, forging good relations with India, she wanted to normalize relations with India. And for this purpose, on the occasion of SAR conference held in Pakistan in 1988, she signed different agreements with India. One of the agreements was that not to attacking each other nuclear installations. Agreements were also made. Agreements were also made that stipulated the exchange of uh, cultural delegations and the abolition of dual tariff. Okay, so different agreements be uh, signed kar di gai jis mein exchange of cultural delegation. Jo sakafati wa food ta, uska tabadala kiya gaya. Dono Pakistan or India ke darmiyan to normalize the relation. This is called people to people contract. These are CBMs, confidence building measures and the abolition or khatma ta of dual tariff. Tariff mean taxes. Tejarati jo ek dusre se tariffs te uska khatma kiya gaya ta ke tejarat ko enhance kiya ja sake, badaya ja sake. On April 23rd, 1989, Benazir inaugurated the commencement of People's Work Program uh, uh, in Peshawar. Now, for uh, for the welfare of the people, she inaugurated a program in Peshawar with the name of People's Work Program. In this program, in the objective of this program was to give a, a social security to the people. In uh, to the grassroots, especially at the grassroots level, to bring the people from poverty. As a result of the November 1988 elections, while Pakistan People's Party had formed government at the center, Islami Jamhuri Tehad, it was a group of political parties who had succeeded against, who fought election and had succeeded in uh, forming government in Punjab. The two governments often maintain a confrontational attitude towards each other. Ab ye dono jo Islami Jamhuri Tehad tha, jo ke mukhtalif jamaaton ka ek group tha aur jiski sarbara Muhammad Nawaz Sharif the, unke darmiyan aur Benazir Bhutto ke darmiyan ekhtilaf ka ek fiza rehta tha har time pe. So on August 6, 1990, the President Ghulam Issa Khan. On August 6, 1990, the President Ghulam Issa Khan dissolved the National Assembly on charges of corruption, badunwani, misuse of power, or jo taqat ka ya ikhtiyar ka galat istemal da, in the undermining of the democratic norms, or jo jamhuri uh, usool te usko paamal karne ke ilzamat mein, gula, uh, jo Ghulam Mustafa Jadui te was appointed as the caretaker prime minister. Acha yahan pe ek baat hai ki Ghulam Issa Khan ne kaun sa power istemal karke bhi Nazir Bhutto ko hata di apne ohde se aur Qaumi Assembly ko dissolve kar diya to is article ko note kar le apne saath ye hai 58 to b ye 1973 ki constitution ka ek article hai jiske zariye sadar ko ikhtiyar hasil hota hai ki wo wazir azam ko bhi hata sakta aur assembly bhi dissolve kar sakta hai so jiske nateeje mein jo Ghulam Mustafa Jatui the usko tainat kiya gaya e nigran wazir azam ke taur pe ab caretaker prime minister kaun hota hai ye jab assemblya khatam ho jaye usko dissolve kiya jata hai ya apni muddat puri kar jaye to phir caretaker nigran ek setup banaya jata hai jisme wazir azam aur uski kabina bhi hoti isi tarike se charo subo mein bhi nigran wazir ala aur uski kabina tashkeel di jati hai taaki ek free and fair elections karaye ja sake neutral bande hote hain caretaker uh, taker prime ministers so in general elections were pledged to be held on october 24 1990 aur isi tarike se wada kiya gaya ke elections karaye jayenge general elections cup uh, 24 of october 1999 okay from the above description, uh, description jo abhi aapne padhi is description se agar hum ek uh, natija akhaz kare conclusion akhaz kare to ye tha ke benazir bhutto ne jaisi hi wo wazir azam bani apne walid ke intikal ke baad jaisi hi wo watan wapas aaye 1988 mein to unke ek zabardast shandar istiqbal bhi kiya gaya tha karachi mein aur phir ye tha ke jab unhone elections jeete so, ye elections 1988 ke elections mein wo wazir azam bani aur jaisi wazir azam bani 
ठीक है अफगानिस्तान पे जो अटैक किया गया था बाय द यू एस एस आर यूनियन ऑफ सोवे सोशलिस्ट रिपब्लिक इसी तरीके से उनको एक हंग पार्लियामेंट मिली थी पंजाब जैसे बड़ा सूबा जो था जहाँ पे आई जे आई की हुकूमत कायम थी मतलब तो ये था कि उनको बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस का सामना था वहाँ पे कन्फ्रंट करना था इंडिया को भी सो उनके साथ ताल्लुक अच्छे बनाना इसी तरीके से दोनों सोवियत यूनियन और अमेरिका से अच्छे ताल्लुक बनाना फिर ये था कि एक उनकी पार्टी का एक प्रेसिडेंट भी नहीं था वो गुलाम इसाक खान जो एक बेरोक्रेट था उनके साथ भी अच्छे ताल्लुक रखना था नवाज शरीफ जो उनकी अपोजिट थे और जो अपोजिशन में थे उनका भी सामना करना था तो बहुत सारे अच्छा इकोनमी को भी बेहतर बनाना था तजारत को भी आगे लेके जाना था तो ये सारे इस इन चीज़ों में और ये भी था कि उनकी पहली मरतबा उनका एक एक्सपेरिमेंट भी था कि वो वजीर अजम बनी सो ये उनका फर्स्ट टर्म था ऑफिस में इन शेक्स्ट टर्म में हम उनका पढ़ेंगे नेक्स्ट टर्म सेकेंड टर्म जो हो